back with another review so I'm officially 14 weeks in one day today um, it's been a whole bunch of stuff going on in the last two weeks so I'm super excited to talk to you ladies about it I've also went into like I'm not gonna say a depressing mode of uh, a depressing mode but I saw a post yesterday that had me like oh my gosh like you know it was kind of freaking me out and so let's talk okay so, as you guys know that I went for my 12-week scan about two weeks ago and everything. Excuse my kittens in the background. They like to follow me down here and act a fool. Um, and everything went pretty good. Um, and so, I'm going to show you some pictures of baby. And um, also, um, last week or was it Monday? I don't even know if it was this week or last week. I met up with a good friend. Um, she's actually, um, um, getting her tap done, her transdominal surplus done from Dr. Atlas in Baltimore. And she has a YouTube video and it's called Miracle, uh, Material. And so, um, if you are wondering how the whole tap process goes, I would definitely check out her videos. Um, there's been a whole bunch of stuff going on, y'all. We going, we going, we gotta talk because I need y'all like my outlet, okay? And like right now, I'm in and out or whatever like that. So what happened? Okay, so I told you on my 12 week scan that um, the high risk doctor, she, uh, when I was dealing with those cramps issues, and that that cramp issue kind of felt to me like light 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 contractions kind of it was real crampy at the bottom like my, the bikini cut at the bottom like in my abdominal area and so i didn't know what was going on i, I was freaking out and so um i was telling her i think i'm constipated and all of these things so she told me to go out and i think i told you guys to go out and get um Marilax, right y'all this stuff works it works I had been using that, I think when she gave it to me, like two days in, the pressure pain went away and I was able to have regular BM movements, bowel movements without all of the constipation and the volcano eruptions going on. So if you are dealing with that type of issue, whether you are you have a tap pregnancy or if you're pregnant, speak to your doctor and see if they will allow you to take this. I just drink it, yeah, I put it in my water. And I just drink it daily. Um, and, of course, I, you know, I'm eating my fibers, my fruits, and things like that. So, yeah. I also told you, ladies, um, last time that I'm on my Pedestrians 200 milligrams. Um, and the ones that I showed you last time was the suppositories. So, these right here are actually the ones that I'm taking orally. And I take these every single day. Um, so I probably have to, I may have to refill, I may not have to refill because in the next two weeks, I will be 16 weeks and on the 20th of this month, I'm actually getting my P17 injections. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yesterday I had some, I don't know what it was y'all, I was sleeping and something, it was like this knife pain, like this sharp pain in my stomach and I said oh my gosh oh oh and then it stopped and I'm like what was that I mean it was I was such a pain I was like what what is it then it went away I don't know if if I don't know if something attached or something moved but y'all that was some crazy pain I have been dealing with round ligament pain the feeling that everything is stretching and pulling all in there so I you know that just goes with the whole pregnancy also too my boobs 
my I don't wear bras anymore. I already told y'all that I can't. I I'm just sorry. I just can't do it. I just don't wear bras no more. So when I go out, I, I put a scarf or something over me. But I've noticed like my nipple, the air, air little part of it or whatever, is um how can I say? It's real dry and crusty. Like I'm like, what's going on? And I said maybe because I'm taking too many showers during the day, and I just have to you know put something around them but i'm like why are they getting so rock hard right now like what's going on i guess because i'm pregnant so um yeah um other than that i have been pretty cool now let's also talk about because i said i was going to mention this in my vlogs and i was going to talk about these groups out here okay a lot of ladies a lot of you ladies know that i have a group and it's called 40 weeks to go and if you are trying to conceive ivf iui um postpartum you are a mother um you're pregnant with a tech pregnancy or non-pregnancy, this is a great group for support. Or if you just have some questions and you just need to speak to a group of women that's like-minded, then um, I'm going to put the link at the bottom. It's 40 weeks to go. Um, you can email me and then I'll send you the link. I do screaming because we're not going to have anybody that's crazy or nuts in the group. I had somebody today that was trying to send a link. And I'm sorry, but he looked like... He was a part of the Taliban, and I was like, oh, heck to none up. So, you know, it's a real, it's a secret group, but it's it's basically like-minded like women on their 40 weeks journey, and some of them are postpartum mothers and um, have children, so I think you would like the group. Um, there's also some other groups. It's called the Elope Group, um, and that's dealing with the incompetent cervix. Um, this is a UK group, and I think this lady... She basically, um, the group was after her son who had passed away, and she went on to have a stitch, just a regular transvaginal surplus, and she has a baby girl. And so um, her, this group is pretty good because it's more intimate. Like, a lot of women, they post pictures of um, their angel babies that did not make it. Um, so, you know, some groups don't really allow that, but that particular group, it, they do allow it. And there's a lot of support, a lot of people who are TTC and things like that, who have questions and, you know, just trying to overcome depression and things like that. So if you're interested in that group, I'm going to post um, some things too. Now, there's also a group out here that I am a part of, but I'm not going to say the name of them. They're pretty, I can say they're, they're pretty big. Um, they're a huge advocate when it comes to the transdominal surplage. But what I've noticed is that I've noticed some real grimy stuff that had been going on with this group. And it's more so with the admin. And I don't know, maybe because I'm feeling some type of way because I'm pregnant. And, you know, certain people, you'd be like, oh, I can't stand them sometimes. And you're not, you're not supposed to be like that, but... I just feel like this particular group, and as you know, when you form a group like this, a lot of women chime in. And um, this particular group, these women give all of their information out far as the different type of losses that they had endured, dealing with an incompetent cervix, and actually getting a transdominal surplus. This is a nonprofit group. Um, I'm just going to say troopers. I'm, I'm just putting a name out like that. And some of y'all know what I'm talking about. But what I did not like that I noticed last week, it was a couple of women who posted some particular questions and the administration would delete them. And I'm like, and the, and the women are like, why would you delete my post? I thought there was nothing wrong with what I asked in my post. And then the admin would be like, well, that's off subject. And I'm like, wait a minute. So these women sit up here and they post all their personal information. They go out and get a transdominal surplus in which this particular nonprofit group, they're not even paying for any of that. And it's not like you're in the group and you ask questions and the administration speaks to you. These are different women who are chiming in and those same type of different women who have genuine questions about it in pregnancy, um, uh, in attack pregnancy, these women are being shot down. And I'm just like, ooh. So, you know, a lot of the women were upset about it. And a lot of women had questions. And I had questions too. But instead of 
um, the administration or the admins answering those things, they deleted everybody's posts and they decided to private message you. And I had to ask them, I have to, you know, I have to really ask what your motive, what are your motives? Or is this a tax study or what, what exactly is your, your, you guys motive about it? And I have to question your integrity too, because women really put all their information out there and so if a woman has a transdominal surclash and she says ladies is there anyone here that had an infection with their tap pregnancy and how did how does your doctor handle it why would you delete her post mm. um sounds to me like it's a little bit for show but i will say that if you are looking to get um a transdominal surclash you're going to find a lot of women there in that group that are very supportive and then you'll find a, a lot of other women around that group that is other different groups too so i just wanted to put it out there that i kind of thought that it was really salty and see the different thing that the the sorry y'all the thing is is that when you form into some of these groups some of them are really anal Oh, you can't you can't be a part of this unless you had that or unless you did this or we're having a group and then as soon as you say okay can I join where well, they ask you all of these personal inf these things about you and then when you give it to them they're like um you can't join you were like well damn I I could have kept my business to myself then I mean if it was going to be like that I don't want to join your group so but a lot of groups that I'm a part of um they're not anal I know I'm well forty weeks to go we you know. Um, you, you have a lot of support there and there are other groups that have a lot of support, but I cannot stand these groups that are supposed to be down for the cause, but they're, they're, they're playing big brother. But then again, I said, well, I guess it's your group. So whatever you call, but you got a lot of women who vlog and blog about that. And y'all know I was going to put them on blast. So I wasn't really happy with that. Um, there was another woman, she asked a question about um, vitamin D and if, you know, p women are taking vitamin D in their, their top pregnancy to kind of like um, help with um, rupture and things like that. And people were chiming in like, yes, my doctor and some of the major doctors had said, yeah, to take vitamin D. As a matter of fact, this administration had actually put vitamin D um, out on there and I read it and I said oh I may have to start taking vitamin D if this no I'm sorry not vitamin D but fish oil you if this is supposed to help um you know kind of calm the cervix or whatever like that so you don't have to deal with prom or your water breaking and things like that and guess what they deleted her and I was like oh like Dang, it was like a slap in the face to everybody who was chiming in and reading it. So I just wanted to give everybody a heads up about these groups, these salty ass groups. But um, enough of that. So what else is going on? Um, I went to the special store, y'all, and let me tell y'all what I got. I got a... Uh, Prenatal Cradle Plus, a prenatal cradle V2 um, support, full support for your torso, tummy, and back. This is an awesome find because I was saying to myself, I really need to get one of these. However, I think this is going to be a part of a giveaway or I have a friend in Florida that I think this will go perfect for. This is brand new. I actually took it out of the box, but... This is a size large, and I'm not, you know, that thick. But I thought it was awesome to get because these things are like 80 bucks. I mean, when I went online, the, the retail value for this was $80, and I got it for 3 bucks. So that wasn't bad, and that was from a new special store that I went to. Um, I had lately, okay, after that cramping feeling that I was feeling down there had went away, I have been feeling like last night, I, like I said, I woke up with this really sharp pain, y'all. And I felt like something was in my, like even now, well, I don't feel nothing now. I just felt like, ugh. So, I guess, you know, because I'm in my second trimester, I feel like I'm walking the plank right now. 
the, my anxiety levels are a little high because I am afraid, y'all. I'm not even going to lie, you know. And people try to say, my not not to be afraid, but y'all not. Y'all know what went down the last three times. You know, miscarriage and two-second trimester laws. So this is not. Um, I'm trying to be motivated, and I thank God for the groups that I'm in. And, you know, women are like, Mona, I'm praying for you. Everything's going to be fine. And so I said, okay, all right. So I said, let me do a video today today because I really want to keep it real and let you ladies know what's really going on in my mind. Um, so I'm 14 weeks um, and one day today. And as you ladies know, last year at 14 weeks, I was actually getting a transvaginal surplus done because I had cervical change at 14 weeks. Unfortunately, five, six weeks later, I end up losing my daughter in April. We are in February, and um, I'm just praying to just get past April. I believe at the end of April, I will be like 24 weeks. Um, and so May for me would be a really big milestone because I'll be like 30 weeks. Bottom line baby has a huge chance of making it and no type of issues but i am really praying that i can just go full term at least um to the first of august y'all know my due date is due august the 11th but it's going to be a week before the 11th because i'm actually getting a c-section done in which i have been looking up a lot of information on c-sections and um, I'm not I'm not nervous about that. My main thing is getting past the 20 week mark. That is my main focus, and I'm just really praying that um, my cervix is closed, and that I'm not going to deal with prom. I think that's every woman's um, fear is that her water may break while she's pregnant with the tax. So you have a lot of us who are not going swimming we're not taking baths we're just taking it easy but it is a scary feeling i think last year when i was 14 weeks after 14 weeks it kind of flew also congratulations to all of those who got their bfps and congratulations to those who um just entered their um second trimesters and third trimesters and were able to see the heartbeats um, congratulations, ladies. Some of you ladies had got some really bad news. Um, no heartbeat, but I'm here to say try again. Try again. Um, I'm really praying for a lot of you women out there to get, um, your BFPs because some of you have been trying that and a lot of you are taking, um, Geritol. So I'm really looking for and some of you got trigger shots going on. I've been studying this. I'm like, okay, some of y'all got SISs done on your on your cervix to make sure everything was good with uterus and cervix. Some of y'all got HG HSG or HGS done, um, blowing out your tubes. So I'm just like, whoa, I'm really like into it, into it. So I'm really rooting you ladies on. Um, some of y'all is countdown, um, baby due next month. Um, in April, so I'm just like, wow, this is just, um, being around a lot of positive things or whatever like that, but at the same time, it's just, you know, just trying to take it easy, but sometimes when you look at certain things, that fear comes back, so that's what I have been dealing with, so, um, why I got you, you ladies here, let's do, I'm gonna show you Dupler, and let's see what baby's doing, and also I want to show you my bump. Also, too, to let y'all know, my tailbone been hurting. I don't know what it just feels like this. I don't know my tailbone. But let me push this back so you ladies can see my bump. Sorry, y'all. So this is my bump and everything. You can still see the two, my two dots from... When I got the surgery done. So I'm going to try out. I feel like I'm going to throw up y'all. I'm going to try my. Ooh, my, uh, my Doppler. This I actually got last year. When I was pregnant with Harmony. And with Harmony. I would pull this out all the time. 
Okay, so I'm going to try my Doppler. And usually I try it when I'm laying down, but I'm going to see if I... Okay, so I'm going to try the Doppler real quick. <sighs> like I said, y'all, I really don't feel too good right now. Okay, so I'm going to use hand sanitizer because it has moisturizer in it. I honestly think that baby is still down here somewhere. I don't, you know, I was feeling kicks early on, but I, you know, if I'm not, if I'm sitting up and I'm leaning over, I feel, but if I'm laying back, and things like that I don't feel. So this is my pocket fetal Doppler. And if you looked at my old vlogs, you know I had this when I was pregnant with um, Harmony. So right now, you can see that. All right, let's see. Oop, there she go. She's kicking and moving on. Or... You in there moving like a neat knot in the mountain tongue. That's the first time I've ever used this actually standing up. Because I know baby's getting big and things are, you can start to pick up. So there was my neat knot in the moot. And then chilling like a snoot snot in the moot. So I'm super excited about that. Um, other than that, my energy levels, ladies, it has gone down. I feel like there's this sharp, some people call it, I guess that's what they call it, lightning crouch. Because that's what it feel like, like some lightning just, <laughs> just sit psh, right in your cookies. Like, ah, what is it? And then it goes away. So I feel like I'm dealing with lightning crouch right now. Baby's heartbeat was, I know it's in 160s or whatever, so I forgot to show y'all that. But um, you can actually get these pocket fetal duplers online, like eBay, brand new for like 40 bucks or whatever. Um, and it's worth it because instead of you waiting to go get a sonogram and to hear baby's heartbeat, you can actually hear, oh gosh, I'm, still, I'm feeling that lightning crouch, y'all. Right now, as I talk to y'all, I'm feeling lightning crouch. Oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. So, I went from one pain to another pain. And so, I'm just going to take these. I'm going to take this. I don't know if that's baby kicking something or what, but baby's only 14 weeks and just real small right now. So, I don't know, but I've been feeling it now. I'm some really feeling it. So, I'm just praying it. Lord, please give me. Okay, 16 more weeks. Um, I feel like at 14 weeks, it really flew. So I'm praying that the next 14 weeks fly like this 14 weeks. But for some odd reason, I just feel like the second trimester is just the longest. It is the longest, y'all. So I've just been taking it easy, doing, you know, just doing me. And I hope everybody else has been doing good, too. Y'all still know I'm doing a TTC and special store giveaway. So if you're down for the cause, let us just know. And also, too, I'm going to put those links um, to those um, different groups. Um, I really think that, you know, because some of y'all are able to get to support groups. And some of y'all, like, I have no idea. Um, if you have any questions and if you want to talk and chat, then you can email me at 40 weeks to go at gmail.com. So, um, yeah, so 
I'm really looking forward to springtime, but I'm more so looking forward to my belly growing with no issues. And sometimes, y'all, I really feel like, why? Like, why can't I just have that perfect pregnancy? Perfect pregnancy. And it's crazy because I had posted on this form. I was like, is anybody been dealing with certain type of issues? And at what part did you go on bed rest? And, you know, some were like, oh, I want a bed rest. Others like, I had a perfect pregnancy. Nothing went wrong. I'm like, I want that too, daggone it. Shoot. I want, I want to, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I just, I don't know. I told myself today, instead of me moping and sitting in the bed and looking like the Grinch, let me get up and talk to the ladies real quick and let them know what's really going on. So that's a major milestone for me. I'm in my second trimester and baby is growing. Um, so next week I actually go for my 15 week scan. And I, like I said, the week after that, I'm getting my P17 injections. Y'all, I'm so ready for these shots. I got a friend that's in um, Florida. Shout out to you, Marilyn. And she said she get her shots. Um, what she say? Her and her husband call it Shot Fridays because he gives her the injections. So I just found out too, and they're so crazy, Shot Friday. She's having a boy. So I'm super excited for her. Super, super duper excited for her. And um, I think she's due May, June. So I got a lot of ladies that are due May, June. Um, and she actually has a transvaginal surplus on. I have another friend and she's due... April and she has a transvaginal surplus on and this is her second transvaginal surplus and she's already in her 30 something mile weeks and um, she went full term with her daughter but without her stitch when she when she was first pregnant with her son she lost him in her second trimester so she's going full term and the stitch is working for her um, you know there's a lot of women out here that would like to get the transdominal surplus versus a stitch but unfortunately the finances and i'm hoping when when we start spreading the awareness of what a surplus is and different success rates that maybe the laws and even in medicine will be turned around where they'll start giving women more more of a high success rate but any stitch is better than no stitch and um some of you ladies are taking the precaution of getting the p17 injections and which I'm like kudos to y'all and actually taking your your health um, care into your own hands. Um, I have a friend and she was really nervous about going to the doctors and what type of questions to ask. And just like I told her and we were telling her, uh, when you go to your doctor and if you have any concerns, um, if you want something particularly, like, make sure you write everything down on a piece of paper and you do not leave that doctor until he answers all of your questions. Don't take no for an answer because some doctors will shoo you off and act like, no, this is what we're going to do. And sometimes you got to be like, no, because that's not what my insurance is paying you for. This is what I want you to listen to me on why I want this and you tell me the reason why you're not going to give me this. And, you know, it, some and some women are persuaded thinking that these doctors, they know what they're talking about. And there's some good doctors that know what they're talking about. But there's other doctors just, you, you know, unfortunately, um, you're just another number. So you have to kind of take a lot of these matters into your own hands. And also, congratulations to you ladies that had those precious bundles of joy. Some of y'all... Um, I had one of you that was saying that you had to basically ride in the back seat of the car, laying down. You could not stand up, couldn't do whatever. It was just a whole bunch of stuff. But you were in your third trimester, so I'm, I just want to say congratulations on that. So I'm just, I want to get there, y'all. I think that once my belly is huge, like a big, fat, pregnant woman, I'm going to be like, oh, heck to the yes. This is what I'm talking about. I'm super excited about August. But I just want to see that stomach grow past my second trimester. I want to see my stomach at 30 weeks. Like, I want to see, like, oh, my gosh, it's a baby in there. Like, I know my little loop knot and a mutton is in there. So, I'm just, you know, I just want to see my belly grow. Like, yeah. And it was kind of crazy because, you know, my friend, she was talking about how... It's like, oh, she's pregnant again. And she tried for the pregnancy. So she's happy about it. But it's just like, here we go again. I'm like, yes, girl, you got to put on your hiking boots and go up this mountain so we can get over it. Um, 
But it does feel like when you've been pregnant for the last three years, it's like, okay, here we go again. So I'm praying and I know when we go full time, um, I'm going to give myself a break, y'all. I'm going at least a year and a half to two years. I need a break. My boobs have been mm, mm. My hips, mm, mm, mm. It's like things are breaking down and doing funny stuff. So, I don't know. I mean, you tell me how you feel about it. Some of you ladies have been trying for a baby. And I'm praying that you guys get that successful BFP. And I've been telling y'all, handstands, ladies. Handstands, on it. <laughs> Handstands and also to, um, you know, check your your cervical mucus, your CM, and also um, the cool thing about it is, is if you out this cycle, there's always next cycle. So until then, I'm definitely gonna give you ladies an update, and I'm gonna put some of those links to some of those groups that I was telling you about. Until then, ta ta for now. I know what my flow 